And Roger, one thing I've noticed here recently is you something has inspired you to start writing again. You have uh, gotten uh, bukus of songs out there now. Well, I've, I've written a few things over the past few years. I think maybe the last uh, eight or ten months, I may have had like a kind of a dry spell. And so, but recently, um, I, I really don't want to write a song unless I'm going to say something. I mean, I, I tend to write songs about people. I write about people's lives. I write about, I don't do too many, uh, you know, I should say sappy emotional songs, but I, every now and then one comes out. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, were just, I was with CNN for 10 years. I, was, I worked for, for Ted Turner, for Turner Broadcasting back from 86 to 96. I, I've got a pretty big broadcast background in addition to music, and uh, I really enjoyed those 10 years that I worked there. Um, it was before the, the journalism industry has changed, as we all know. We're not going to go there, but um, basically when I worked there, I was there at a good time, a great time. And, I, and Ted was uh, a great boss for everybody, and but he, he wasn't like a boss. I mean, he was obviously the big guy that had the vision to do a 24-hour network and also uh, change, just just change the face of uh, the city of Atlanta, for instance. Uh, he did a lot there. Absolutely. So make, make a long story short, um, AT&T and Time Warner have merged. Now, Time Warner bought CNN a long time ago, bought Turner Broadcasting. And Ted kind of more or less, I, th I believe, got pushed out. But uh, there was there was a change where he didn't have control of it anymore. And so, but now there's a whole total merger, huge merger, where they're going. They wanted to maybe just kind of lose Ted's uh, contribution to it or his any identity. And that's a business decision. I understand that. You know, everything is going to go from TBS. It's going to become time, uh, AT and T, Time Warner. I understand that. That's a business decision. Yeah. Things companies get bought out all the time and they change the names. But right. Ted left. Ted, if it wasn't for Ted, none of this stuff would have happened. Exactly. And he was a visionary, and he and he thought ahead, and he and he mm -hmm. they saw what was going on, and he, and he con contributed. I mean, he made the Atlanta Braves what they were, made them America's team by just putting them on a station years ago, so and everybody could watch them. Not that they're the best team, because they've only won one championship. <laughs> but yeah. but yeah. well, they're doing good right now. But <laughs> um, and, the, and the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, he he was a re he represented Atlanta, and then he gave a million dollars to the United Nations, yeah. and then he. Does the Buffalo thing is trying uh, trying to conserve that, and he and he thinks you know he thought logically about a lot of things, and so I, I'm I'm still in touch with a lot of my former colleagues from CNN, and some of these people that I'm we're in touch with, we're on some private uh, social media pages and still communicate. We're still friends, and I, I was in the company of great journalists in that, that back during that time. Just great, I mean, great people, smart people, just yeah. good people, and just professional people and I can't say enough good things about the people that I was privileged to be around because I you know I don't come near the caliber that some of these people were I was a production guy and and did what they told me to do and, and did everything I could to be flexible in the business but I didn't I wasn't a, you know I, I wasn't an editorial journalist I did some production and did a few and wrote a few things but I you know I was on the level of a lot of these people that were working in the field and, and doing the deal from technical to, to uh, editorial to both yeah so so from, with that being said, I wrote a song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From from all that that uh, had gathered over the well, uh, I wrote a song as, there, as, but... as a tribute to Ted Turner. Yeah. It's just and it's yeah. called the Legacy of Ted Turner, and it just oh. tells a story about no matter what happens, we're going to try to you know keep Ted's name out there and, and make sure that everybody knows what he did and, and his contribution and that we got his back, that kind of thing. Literally, the words "We got your back, Ted" is in the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that that was uh, well done. Too.
risk of classic movies and created 24 hour news. He bought a couple of pro sports teams, one would win, one would lose. He gave the UN a million bucks to send some help they could use. A big business greed soon stepped in and spread the corporate blues. Ted will make sure your name goes down in history. There's just so much more to you that Time Warner doesn't see. You changed our lives and made the world a better place to be. So we'll make sure no one forgets Ted Turner's legacy. to the song you just recently wrote uh, about the American Legion since I'm heavily involved in the American Legion myself uh, it, again we appreciate your your uh, dedication well, to do something well I'm not I'm not a veteran but uh, my, my dad was and uh, not a war veteran he was but he was he served and I had relatives that served and I have friends that served and I have many friends that you know that that have served and uh, young and older and yeah. um, I found a uh, I've been doing a gig at the American Legion in Ackworth, Georgia, for about the last year or so, uh, a couple times a month, and I, lo I love it. And the people there are really good. Uh, Commander Bob is just is a wonderful guy and, and likes what I do musically, and and invited me in there to play twice a month, and it's just a great thing. And you know, in hanging around there a little bit, you know, going there and maybe eat lunch or have, eat before the meal, and I'm I'm talking to a lot of vets that come in there. Plus, you know, you and I've been friends for twenty something years, you know, and, and I realize that and. I just you know, so then I go back and I think about you know my dad was in the service and uh, I think about my uncle was in the Air Force and uh, my cousin was in the Navy, you know so everybody did their deal. Yeah. Um, when I was coming along, um, you know, and I could have done it too, except the Vietnam War was going on and uh, I've got a lot of friends that are the Vietnam veterans that are my age and older and and younger, mm -hmm. and uh, not too much younger, but mostly. Uh, <laughs> But I was right on the cusp. I mean, the war stopped. I was 18 years old, and I just gotten my draft card, and and Nixon stopped the war, and they was doing a lottery back then, mm -hmm. and the lottery stopped at number 50, and I was number 60. I mean, it was just like, psst, you know, yeah. it just kind of cleared cleared the hurdle. Had it happened, I, I would have done what I had to do. Would have, you know, would have done it, but I, it it just didn't happen. And my, and my, but my mama worked for. Uh, the army. She retired as an administrator for the U.S. Army as a civilian employee for for like thirty years. Yeah. And she, you know, I took her, and she was out of Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, and she uh, worked there, uh, bringing guys in and out of uh, shipping them in and out, doing their paperwork and their vouchers and all this stuff. And she talked about all these guys that were, you know, how how young they were at the time. Of course, they were um, maybe a little older than me, and but she saw it. She saw it possibly me being in that line, you know, down the down there. Yeah. Anyway, again, after all that, I wrote a song, <laughs> <laughs> and, 
and it was it's an American Legion song, and I just tried to put yeah. in there uh, it's dedicated to veterans. Um, you know, and but I found out a lot more about the American Legion that I didn't know, and it was that they they try to take they uh, welcome all veterans of all wars, all, you know, right. every war. Yeah, you know, I mean, from World War One on down. I mean, that's when it started. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, matter of fact, the World War One vets are the ones that got got together because they were a lot of them were troubled when they got back and had issues and. The, the things that they, you know, but there was no formal way to treat it, right? right? And they started back in Paris. Yeah, and so there's a there's a whole history that I read there, and I was I was sitting there going, I'm going, man, you know, because I, I looked, I wanted, to, I, I told Commander Bob Corzo at uh, Ackworth, mm -hmm. I told him, I said, man, I, you know, I want to write a song for y'all, and he was he was like, yeah, sounds good, you know, the thought yeah. sounds good, I, but I didn't know I didn't know how I was going to do it, I didn't know where I was going to go, yeah, and I didn't want to make it sound hokey. Uh, but I wanted something to, you know, I wanted to say say the deal, and I don't even remember how it came about. I just went, uh, I well, I, I I started the chorus first, the American Legion this, the American Legion that, you know, yeah. and it just kind of flowed, and finally I just uh, I just went rah 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 and, and went and, <laughs> and, and, and something came out, and then I recorded it. But I, I feel good about it, and it's yeah. it's available for download now. It's a doubt. There's no hard copies. Um, there can be down the line for a single, but it's a single and it's uh, available on the download sites. Forgotten country, we associate ourselves together. These are the first words in the American Legion preamble. To recognize the guiding of the Almighty in every endeavor. It's a sure bet for all Americans, it's not just a losing gamble. It all starts first with building a good never-ending unity. To stand with the right, protect the weak and the freedoms of all people alike. Preserve the Constitution with the fortitude of General Ike. The American Legion embraces those that fought all wars. The American Legion helps to heal the Those who sacrificed on all shores The American Legion stands to confirm What's yours is yours
excellent songs out there.